everyone. I'm Paula. Hi, and I am Katrina. And we're the Gallifrey Gals. And this is Gallifrey Gals. Get wibbly wobbly. Wibbly wobbly. Gallifrey Gals. Gallifrey Gals. We're always going to do Doctor Who, everybody. <laughs> yeah, we're, that's what we're named for. Come on. Yes. And I think like we've said before, like this, it's a break for you guys, but it's not really a break for we're us. Keep, we keep watching because we're trying to build yes. up. But also our another. So that we can edit it and have it out for you. Yeah. Exactly. And that was our original plan before the pandemic happened. We were yes. like, we've got a set. We're ready to go. We're going to sit. We're going to binge. We're going to edit. And we're going to have stuff ready so we can jump into the next season quickly, efficiently, all that stuff. And then we got sent into a lock, the stay at home order. And everything was insane. So it's been a journey. It sure we has appreciate been. your patience. But also. As a Whovian, as someone who has seen Doctor Who, I feel personally it is nice to take a break after the season. Even though it's still the same Doctor, where we've still got Matt Smith, it's still nice to take a little break afterwards and not just rush right into the next season. Mm -hmm. A lot happened in season five. You, you know, like take it all in, soak it up. <laughs> Remember, I was angry at a few things at the end of yeah. the season, and I do sometimes need a little time Emotional. to let those things settle so that I can watch yes. back with an open heart, if you will. Exactly. An, oh, back to an open heart, an open mind, ready to take on whatever new crazy adventures Moffat's going to throw See at you. bullshit Moffat's going to make me sit through next. <laughs> <laughs> so, like... Again, most of you have been so beautiful and patient so wonderful. and wonderful thank and you. Understand understanding. So thank you. We love you. Um, we shout out to never... our patrons. Holy cow. Oh. Y'all are amazing. Speaking of things we love, Doctor Who, what should I ex tell me? Set me up. I want to believe your very cool Doctor Who X-Files mashup. Shout out to my brother, Joshua. <laughs> so we're just mm -hmm. dipping our toes in to Doctor Who, uh, and as much oh, as I, Christmas in July, as much as August, I am a, this will post in September, <laughs> right, as much as I am a spooky person, as much as I love my Halloween, uh, we are doing Christmas in August, yeah, um, oh, I don't know why I was like, flex your muscles, that's not Christmassy, all right, uh, this episode is called, should I tell her? Merry Christmas, Doctor. You don't have to tell me if you don't I don't want think to. I'm going to tell you. Okay. I'm not going to tell her. So, yeah, but I'm not going to tell you this time. You just know that it's a Christmas special because well, then. how do you not know that? Of course you know that. Here's the thing that's been different so far is that right before a David Tennant Christmas special, those episodes always ended with him going, what? What? <laughs> what? And then something happening. But yes. Matt Smith did not say what a bunch of times at the end. No, of he did not. He did not. Uh, <laughs> David Tennant, why? I just got so sad. It's okay. I don't. Oh, this, he's. I. I don't think there's any denying that David Tennant's my doctor. Like I. I. I like Matt Smith. Uh, I watched a full season. Matt Smith is the doctor. I fully have bought okay, in. Totally. I had love him, love him, love him, love him. Where I was in Doctor Who, and both times the Doctor was Matt Smith. But yeah. I, 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 the fact David that I just Tennant. got emotional thinking about David Tennant episodes. Yeah, he is and always will be my Doctor. I suppose we'll see. Let's wait. Let's see what happens when we get to like Peter Capaldi. Yeah, honestly, oh, because I, oh. I, I just love them. I love I'm them excited all. to see I love the doctor. all of them. I'm really pumped for when we get to Jodie Whittaker, too. I know a lot of people seem to not be crazy about her seasons. Um, which is That's what I say to those people. But um, I'm, I'm really excited to see it to, to, when we win. This is so far off. When we so get to the point where we're there. seeing like the doctor in such a different light. I'm just really excited. I think it's such a neat thing you can do where you can have a character and have them played it's we've talked about this before and this will mean nothing to you yet katrina but it's like kind of like being a trill which is a star trek reference which will oh my gosh there's a bug Get uh, out of our face. <laughs> we'll talk about at some point coming up um when in a uh, and get warped but um yeah 
Anyway. Um, let's, let's, should we just watch this? There's so many things I have to say about Jody's season when we get there. Um, and we will. We'll get there. We will. Um, and I can't wait. But until then, let's jump into some Christmas who. Let's do it. I'm ready. It's so hot here. I'm ready for Christmas. I know. Look at me in my, like, California tank top. I'm ready for Christmas so I don't have to be in this outfit. Okay. Okay. Oh, I love this. What is this, Star Trek? The ship is going down. It looks, how look how much it looks like Star Trek. Christmas it, is canceled. Did you hear that, Katrina? Very Star Trek vibes right now. Ah, uh, it's like a cruise ship. Whoa. <laughs> oh, I, oh, I understand what was happening in the honeymoon suite. I caught it expecting it's, something by yeah. nothing. Scrooge, it's the second. Dumbledore. Sir Michael Gavin. Gavin. <laughs> Not if we wait a bit. She can't just let it crash, sir. Says who? Says me, the doctor. Okay. Christmas Eve on a rooftop, saw a chimney, my whole brain just went, <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Don't worry, we'll be doing the rounds later. I'm just scoping out went, the general. What the hell? Chimneys. Yes. Ice clouds love that. Who's she? Nobody important. He's so Nobody important. stream of consciousness. I love it. That's amazing. Do you know, in 900 years of time and space, I've never met anyone who wasn't important before. Now. You brought it on yourself. Whoa. Yeah, yeah, right. That's a very Get doctor of way of. <laughs> you go, kid. Stop that or you die, you leave. Opening. Don't treat me like an idiot. Was he lying? <laughs> no, no. Oh, okay. <laughs> the good news is I've a machine that unlocks a cloud belt. I can use it to clear your flight corridor. Fish that can swim in fog. There's definitely. This is the first I episode Doctor, Doctor, that I really see the distracted. increase in budget. Now, why would people it be really oh, right like, the, the VFX actually fellas. look really look good in you this. you sweet little fishy wishes. People say we don't have to be afraid of the fish. They're not really interested. You don't listen to people. You listen to me. Oh. Sorry, Father. My house. Get out! Get out of my house! Okay. Dark. Okay, but I'll be back. Way back. He's gonna show up. We're gonna see him pop in. <laughs> Someone does come. A fucking doctor. If I was climbing out of the window, I'd be going in the wrong direction. Basically, Pay attention. Mary Mrs. Poppins Antibine right now. Always my babysitter. Times change. What do you say? See? Are you really a babysitter? <laughs> You'll find I'm universally recognized as a mature and responsible adult. Mature? <laughs> it's just a lot of wavy lines. <laughs> yeah, short it out. Finally, a lie too big. Okay. Finally, a lie too big. <laughs> you want me? Why? Trying to lure a fish in with the sonic screwdriver? Oh, absolutely. He's going fishing. Trust me. Yeah. Yes. Oh. That's why he's cool. You're so little. So little fella. What do you eat? Oh! Uh. How little? Um. Concentrating on the pluses, you've definitely got a story of your own now. Also, you've got a good fish, and I think I... There's a shark! Oh, fine. Focus on that! Oh, fine. <laughs> Doctor, focus. He really is not an adult. I may lie too big. So far away! Just what I was after. Thank you. Time travel sure is handy. Oh, wow, he actually came back immediately instead of like ten years later. Wait. Hard man to love, your dad. I suppose you know that. So it's hanging on the screwdriver. I thought she was dying. Run! Run! Someone has to say it every episode. <laughs> <laughs> shark. Done, done. Done, done. Let me fall 
in love with this lady, okay? Just give me a second. Right? <laughs> I believe this was her acting debut. Oh, wow. wow. Yeah, her name's Katherine Jenkins. She's super beautiful. So beautiful. On, he comes every Christmas Eve. Yeah, he does every time. He promises. No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Merry Christmas! Doctor! Now there is a Santa Claus in this world, and he had a slave pulled by a shark! She said. <laughs> uh, and you gotta think, though, like, while all of this is happening... Best Christmas Eve ever! Back the in the regular time, Amy and Rory are like... Yes, like... Falling to their death. We're, we're gonna die! Meanwhile, he's like, I will spend the next 40 Christmas Eves here. Now she notices him, yeah? Oh, he got handsome. Oh, she gonna expire soon. Depends on the I have girl. absolutely <laughs> no <laughs> idea. Very honest answer from him. He's like, I don't really know anything about girls. I got no fucking clue, clue, man. They're adorable. Come he in. went in. There. <laughs> Three, two, one. <laughs> this is so cute. <laughs> How did you do that? Your car. There's the card. No. <laughs> oh. oh no. Yeah. Bye. He takes okay, a then. subtle situation and makes it luck. Night. very blatantly luck. obvious. Oh my God. <laughs> Sorry. So I'll go to a room and design a new kind of screwdriver. Don't make my mistakes now. Go. <laughs> go to a room and design a new kind of screwdriver. <laughs> Don't make my mistakes. Go. <laughs> Fine, thank you. I'll just go and get married then, shall I? See how you like that. <laughs> Marilyn! Get your coat! Jeez. <laughs> focus on that. Get that cloud vert under control. Sorry, um, I, I didn't realize I was boring you. But not your fault. Is that him playing his own Why dad? Do you want to yeah. Fish? People are cattle. If you want to control cattle, you need to control their predators. Hello! Oh, Amy. Oh, yeah. What are you doing here? You didn't think this was over, did you? I'm the ghost of Christmas present. <laughs> Who are they? The people on the ship people up there are going to die. That you're going to let die tonight. We still have time to make a landing. Nobody has to die. Everybody has to die. Not tonight. Tonight's as good as any other night. Better a broken heart than no heart at all. Oh, try it. You try it. I have. He has. So, thank you. Over you and here? over and over. I'm not finished with you. I don't even want to be like you. I don't, and never, ever will care. So what do you think? Is this who you want to become, Casper? Huh. Jeez. Dad? I'm so sorry. Oh. I'm, I'm so, so, so. Oh, when he called himself Dad? Oh. oh God. Hello, ah, hello everyone. Uh, where to log on to my signal? Brain raves are different now. Because you're a different person. Don't understand. I think we need to transmit something into the cloud. Send her something singing. Something you know works. This is it. That's how she's gonna spend her last day. We need her to sing. Think about it, Doctor. One last day with your beloved. <laughs> Which day would you choose? Christmas. Christmas Day. Even his sideburns are pointed. <laughs> I love that you noticed that. That makes me so happy. Yeah, he gets all the credit. Which is actually fair enough if you think about it. Uh, and from what I know, she's actually a singer. She must be. I mean, she has an absolutely yeah. beautiful voice. Yeah. I mean, I'm very positive that's her. 
They, uh, they really love their snowmen around here, don't they? I've got about 20. Yeah, I've been busy. <laughs> I've been busy. <laughs> Christmas. Yeah. Christmas. <laughs> Halfway out of the dark. nice episode i love that christmas episode that might so be one of much. my like new favorite episodes that was so good yes that's like one one of if not my favorite christmas special like i really like that i could see myself like it you know that adding that to my list of like things i watch at christmas time you know like that was really i really liked that a lot just that episode alone you know like just it's just so beautiful yeah um and the acting think, all the performances in it were really really good too remarkable the, the little boy the yeah. you know the the teenage boy like it it just was remarkable um but of course the michael casting director gambin didn't think michael gambin was going to be available to do it mm -hmm. but he was like he accepted it. it was like yeah <laughs> yeah let's do this yeah he was so it's something so that like matt smith arthur duvall and uh karen gillen were very like you know they were like this is awesome like this is honorable you know getting to yeah. act with him this is amazing yeah uh yeah. and moffat had said this was going to be the christmasy christmas special ever uh how did he say it? it's all your favorite it's all your favorite Christmas movies at once in an hour with monsters, the doctor, and a honeymoon. <laughs> what more could you want? Um, I really liked how they worked music into it as well. That was really nice. And um, it, uh, it's just such a such a fun episode. And the thing with oh my god, Remy. <laughs> Hang on, if we're going to take a break to I just show looked off. and was like, well, I have to. Passed out cats. <laughs> He's also, oh yeah, there he is. There he is. Evil monster. <laughs> um, but, uh, okay, can I get it back? Yeah. Uh, the flying sharks thing was something that also, it was like a childhood fear of Moffat's, you is know, like sharks rising out of the water. Huh. Um. So that's kind of where that idea came that's from, which I love that because yeah. I was also one of those very over imagined, like imaginative kids who like mm -hmm. in a swimming pool, I was like, ah, <laughs> you know, shark like, in here, yeah. there was a shark behind me, <laughs> like yeah. taking a bath. And I'm like, what if a shark just like came out of the water, <laughs> you know? Um, yeah. So I love that he played off of those like childlike fears and yeah. worked those into it. And it just... Yeah, it's just, it's just it was really good. It's just a very well written episode, and the I've I've genuinely watched this Christmas special like because you can watch this at any you know like you yeah. you can just watch this to watch this you know mm -hmm. um, yeah. And of all the times I've seen it, this is the first time I'm ever like catching the Star Trek stuff. I love that you're like yes, pointed Starbirds, and I'm like he Starbirds. did he Starbirds. <laughs> You can tell I've been watching Community. Sideburns. Um, sideburns. Jeez. He did. The long guy's <laughs> sideburns were pointed, and I was like, this totally Trek. Yeah. Uh, they I'm totally. Like my, I'm like, oh, she is a Trekkie. <laughs> Moffat went for it. I think that's so funny. And I, I love caught that. the Tom Baker scarf reference. You did. So you did. We are fully embracing Just each look other. Look at us fans. go. <laughs> look at us go. Uh, um yeah i don't think there's anything else that i want to mention about this episode you uh, know moving forward arthur duvall he's credited in the main sequence from oh, here on out yay. he's like which a real I full fledged fucking companion. love yes i'm excited he's a about that companion and he's here to stay <laughs> well um, well we'll see i guess but i don't yeah, trust I guess. Moffitt further than i can throw him but 
and I can't throw very um, far. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I love that. That's my, that's like the only other little thing I can think of, but I do love that. Cause Arthur, du- Arthur Duvall is like, oh, he's so good. He's, oh, he's phenomenal. Um, I love that, their outfits. That's what I was just about to bring up is I adore the fact that on their honeymoon, he's like, can you dress up as the kissogram? She's like, only if you dress up as your hands. Like- <laughs> <laughs> oh God. They're so cute. And I love their relationship cute. so much. Yeah. It's um, nice. And uh, <coughs> it's also just that whole tiny whiny wibbly wobbly thing, you know, where like they had an hour left to to make it on the ship and he literally experienced someone's full lifetime with them. Mm-hmm. You know, like he had mm-hmm. two separate companions that we, you know, like we got to see little bits of it, but like he technically had, that was two yeah. different companions he had. Yeah. Um, which is just so wild to think about. <laughs> um, yeah, it is really. My nose I'm is all impressed he was able to show up at the right time every he didn't miss Which either. just shows that if he really wants to, he can. he's capable of it. <laughs> <laughs> if he really focuses and tries, <laughs> he's capable of doing it. <sighs> Little shit. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah. I, like I that episode a lot. It's, it's a breathtaking episode. It's, yeah, it's visually really beautiful. The music's really beautiful. The story's really beautiful. Uh, everything. It really is. Um, really yeah yeah i mean and really, I, not just like christmas specials it probably is moving moved up in my like i might be in like my top five favorite episodes actual ever. doctor who favorite yeah, episodes like yeah. i really liked it a lot it is it's just it's really 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 fucking good <laughs> this is some of my favorite moffat writing uh that we're coming up on in general i mean i love a lot of it you know mm-hmm. but it's there's it's i'm i'm really looking forward to this next season um Good. which it won't be too long till we jump into it we're just doing the christmas special for right now which i think is a perfect little step back into it before yeah. we jump back into the next season yeah i'm excited ah i love it 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 i love it, I love it. <sighs> I'm gonna go clean so up my good. mascara, I guess. I know it's all like dark under here. I was uh, like, Shit. Doctor Who, always making me cry. It's just so good, and what a fun take on that story—the story yeah, that we all it is know a nice and love. Way to kind of do a Christmas Carol in a slightly different way, yeah. Yeah, like just so much fun. I love Amy being like, "I'm the ghost of yeah. <laughs> Christmas present." <laughs> so. Just another fun take on that. I love when people yeah. play off of that. Apparently, they were stuck in Los Angeles uh, during some marketing things or something. Like, uh, I don't. I can't remember if they were doing like tours and like questionnaires and like panels and stuff like that. But they were stuck in Los Angeles because they couldn't fly back to wherever you know they were headed off to next. And so this, that's where Moffat wrote it. Interesting. It was out here. So, yeah. Some good stuff. I'm excited. <laughs> Married to Marilyn Monroe. Oh, doctor. That was not a real chapel. <laughs> he said. Well, he was like, great, no. I'll just go get married. Then, then how will you like that? I know. With his little coat, he's like, how about I just go get <laughs> married? See what <laughs> that, what you have to say about that, huh? Oh, it's like, man. Okay. <laughs> Oh, uh, and I just love Matt Smith. I just yeah. this absolutely uh, I mean, fucking really adore him. Was perfect in this episode. It's, he, I mean, you are like you already stated his string of consciousness, the way that he it just flows out of him so naturally, and it really just he is the doctor, you know, yeah. like in his own way, like yeah. he has he truly so taken great. it and made it his, and mm. he's just remarkable. I feel I like, too, this episode him. was such a the pinnacle of who his doctor is. Like, serious yeah. and dark, but also very whimsical. Um, it just, very it whimsical. Really, yeah. Cares, loves real hard, you know. Ah, good stuff. And, of course, Sir Gammon, you know, like, that's... I mean, come on. So it, good. He's phenomenal. 
so absolutely good. phenomenal. Yeah. All righty, y'all. Well, thanks well, for joining us for this. That was our little Christmas in August for us, maybe September for you. <laughs> Special. <laughs> and uh, yeah, catch your Gallifrey yeah. gals and next time. As we watch more Who. Who? The Doctor. Boom, baby. Bye, y'all. <laughs> Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. If you liked this video, go ahead and give it a little thumbs up. And if you want to be notified when we post new content, go ahead and subscribe to our channel and hit that little bell in the corner.